Webb Lewis with Brandon Red and 247 Sports here in Nashville, Tennessee, as we get ready for the season opener between the Ole Miss Rebels and Vanderbilt Commodores. Red, how you feel about being in Nashville so far? Well, Webb, you know, we're starting to see a little atmosphere come around here. You know, some fans. We've seen some Ole Miss fans and in the red and in their blue walking the streets right around uh, Fort Walk Broadway, just right over there. There's a lot of excitement in the air for a big Thursday night game. Uh, absolutely, there is. Uh, a lot, of a lot of expectations on both sides. Uh, Vanderbilt riding a seven-game winning streak, looking to fight for relevance in the SEC East. Ole Miss with what they did last season and signing day, trying to become relevant in the SEC West. Huge night for both of them. What do you expect to see defensively out of the Rebels? Well, you know, I expect to see a lot of blitzes, Webb. I, I think Ole Miss is going to bring a lot of pressure on the defensive side of the ball. Players like... Um, you know, Keith Lewis and players like Denzel Kandichi, I expect a lot of linebacker blitzes tonight. And then I also think Ole Miss fans will see a multiple type defense that they haven't seen in a long time. Uh, I think you'll see some 3-4, some 4-3, and obviously the 4-2-5 that Ole Miss loves to run. Uh, most importantly, though, I think Ole Miss fans will see a defense that is hungry and a defense that will swarm the football and it's going to give Vanderbilt a lot of pressure tonight. Absolutely, and on the other side of the ball, you saw at times last season with Hugh Freeze and the spread offense, maybe not 100% comfortable to go, you know, pedal to the floor, all out for four quarters. Then at the Mississippi State game, the, the Compass Bowl, you saw that for the first time. It was very successful. I think from the opening get-go tonight, if the true freshman can keep up, and I'm talking Laquan Treadwell, Quincy Adeboyjo, Evan Ingram on the offensive side of the ball. If they can keep up with the pace, I think the Rebels will go all out for four quarters. Could be some fireworks in Music City. So, excited to see what happens. And, you know, on another thought, Webb, uh, it's a little hot here today. You know, <laughs> you know uh, the last couple weeks of fall camp has been a little bit cooler and uh, had some good weather. But uh, if you're coming to Nashville or if you're watching on TV, it's a little warm. So you I got, agree. Yeah, you got you to gotta wonder how the humidity will play, how many cramps will happen in this game. And, and who has the better stamina overall between two good teams that uh, both had good seasons last year. Absolutely. Full coverage on Rebels247.com. We'll be with you throughout the rest of the day. We'll be back.